Hey guys, this is Firefly Editing here, bringing you another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make YouTube backgrounds and probably profile pictures in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 and Paint. Yes, you heard it. I'm going to ma be making YouTube backgrounds in two awesome default programs. Well, Microsoft PowerPoint is not a default, but you know what I mean. Okay. Let's get started. Open up Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. If you do not have 2007, or better, but I don't know about the later versions, then you cannot do this. I am so sorry, but you can't. Stick with Photoshop. Okay. So once we get into here, you want to delete these. We do not need this. Okay. So now we have a white background. Next, we want to open paint okay once we have this open um, you want to download I'll have it in the description a link for a template that I'm gonna be posting and you really need to download that to start this um, um, what was I gonna say well I already have it well I don't have it but I can make it okay here so I'll just delete this other junk uh, this this uh, this and I'll delete this and extend this line yay for paint okay I'm gonna save this right now Template. Okay. So now, once we have this, we go back into PowerPoint. And, first of all, you want to create text. So, go to Insert tab, click Word Art, and click on the one you want. I'm going to click on this one. Fill background one, metal bevel. Okay. Now you see it looks like this. It looks all 3D-like and glossy. So, type in your text. I'm going to type in Firefly. And change the font to whatever you want. Preferably, you want a font that looks cool. Of course, you always want one that looks cool. I'm going to choose Angelic War. Because as you can see, that looks so cool. Well, not that cool, but... Yeah. Now the problem with these super fancy fonts is it takes forever to load it in this 3D glossy look. So, if you have a really slow computer and you don't want to spend hours just trying to rearrange it, go with a basic font. Next, you want to go to Drawing Tools, go to Format, and change the text fill to whatever you want. I'm going to make mine yellow because fireflies are yellow, aren't they? Make the background of our slide black and close that so now you can see that it looks beveled I'm gonna make this unbold which makes it look better um, go to text effects go to bevel go to 3d options now you just wanna play around with these settings until you get what you want so that looks about good um, preferably you like the material to be metal and the lighting to be balanced but you can play around with all of these to make it like what you want. I actually like this one so I'm going to keep it like that and... what am I doing? okay so now once we have our our text um, you want to this green circle here and rotate it like this so now we have sideways text. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Make it 200. And there we go. See, you can really see like the detail in 3D. So, what we want to do now is go back to a white background. And we want to go to insert shapes and insert a rectangle draw that rectangle 
and make the shape fill black if you are using a black background if not just change it to the color that your background like the main color of your background is put no outline and just make it as a bit bigger than your text right click on it and click send to back now we want to hold control and click on the text as well okay press control C to copy now go back in your paint and do control V to paste oh my god why is that messed up are you kidding me are you serious are you oh my god why just just why why are you doing this to me why okay wow um I have no idea why I did that. Uh, let me just make it smaller. I don't know. What? Are you kidding me? What is the matter with you? Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I can make this a hundred. Okay, well, my computer for some reason doesn't like it's like that so we're just gonna make it smaller that usually solves the problem so now we see you have a white box around it just put it in the center use your fill tool make it black selection tool and put it on the guideline boom now you have your text now if you want other stuff like I mean, this stuff is limited, okay? It's PowerPoint. If you want something super fancy, go find a Photoshop tutorial. I'm here to show you how to make a decent looking background in PowerPoint, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, um, oh yeah, finding other things. So for this, you need to go to Firefox or Internet Explorer, whatever. Or Safari, I don't know, okay. Just what? Oh my God! I'm sorry. Whatever. Okay. Now we go to Google and we type in abstract. I don't know. Type in swirl, swirls, and see what we get. Go to images and. Now, with the new Google layout, you can choose what color you want. So click on the yellow box, like right here, since your, my main color is yellow, and find one that looks good. Um. I'm just going to take this one. Because that one looks pretty cool. Okay, right click. Right click, come on. Come on, computer. You can do it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to do it the hard way and print screen. You know what? This is just pissing me off. Paste. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we are doing it the legit way, like a boss. Copy this, paste it into PowerPoint, yay, okay. Wow. Okay, crop. Crop it to the right size. Oh my god. Okay, contrast. Bump up the contrast to make it look good. Picture effects, soft edges. Now I like 50 point, but depending on the size of your picture, the soft edges will have a different effect. See, it kind of like fades it. Okay, now we want to go back to this slide.
copy this black box and paste it in here. Sorry if I'm going so fast, but I lost a lot of time with that Google search. Ever knew Google could be that frustrating. Okay. Send this to the back. Wow, that looks like crap. Oh my god. Why? I'm just going to work with it, because I don't want... Okay, if you want to make this look perfect, you have to spend a lot more time, but I have to do it in, like, under ten minutes, so obviously it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Well, it has this stupid white box. <sighs> okay. I want the background color to be white. Never mind. I was... Stupid of me. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay. There we go. Not the prettiest background ever, but whatever. This is in paint and PowerPoint, as I said before. Now, the text is the main thing that looks cool. Um, you, in Microsoft PowerPoint, you can do make boxes that look like hey you can make uh, buttons here add a button to your a sci-fi button to your your background make this silver add a shape effect make it a beveled edge like that now, if you go to format shape you can go to 3d format you can play around with this make it metallic make it balanced like that see lighting 3d yeah you can edit text and add some text to it like button or whatever so you can add just about anything um as for profile pictures it's kind of like making a back background you make a square change the height to 0.89 by 0.89 you remove the outside and make it whatever color you want and you can make it beveled like this and you just add your text to it so you add like I don't know, firefly I don't want this no. and then you make it whatever size it is make it no that's too small 16 20 see make it 20 and then you have your text and then you you do the same thing you find a picture like this and then you put it here at some soft edges and boom you have a profile picture okay that's about it for this tutorial um wait oh and if you want to add boxes you just have to save this and then you have to go back to your channel and then muck around with the themes and colors so you go show advanced options, you delete the background you put that one in and then if the boxes don't align then you go back into the program, you scoot it over a bit and then you try again, so it's just trial and error okay I believe I'm running out of time so um, that's it for this tutorial it, rate, comment, subscribe, and message me for more tutorials. Later, guys.